With Johnny's happy dance. It's not actually a warm up, it's just uh, what he likes to do when he comes in the gym. So there has been an overwhelming majority in favour of the face in the corner and the orange shorts, so uh, we'll go with that. So today's video just covers warm-up, specifically mobilising, soft tissue work and stretching. So there was a review recently by Brad Schoenfeld that compared no warm-up to a cardiovascular and uh, to a specific warm-up and found no difference in rep performance on the bench press. However, as we know, that's it's not the whole story and what we're covering here is um, ways to improve and restore the length tension relationships between antagonistic muscles and improve the physical quality of your soft tissue, which will allow you to move through full range of motion um, unrestricted and with no pain. So here I'm doing some stuff before a squat workout. This is some glute pre-activation stuff and then happy cat, sad cat, which is uh, flexion and extension of the spine. Also some thoracic rolling and extensions on the foam roller. That's a rumble roller with lots of nodules all over it, so it's it's pretty painful. It's just like a cylinder with a bunch of thumbs sticking out. This is the Kelly Starrett hip opener sequence. I'll put a link in the description below. Absolutely love this for squatting. Really opens up the hips and you, you do find you just sink into the hole a lot more comfortably. So there is also Obviously there's a big debate over static versus dynamic stretching and debate over whether pre-activation um, really works. So like you're seeing with the, the bird dogs and um, flexing the glutes before you go in for a, a lower body lift. I would say rather than, because the research is usually lagging behind and I think the best thing to do is just try it out, see if it helps, test, retest, and if you're feeling less restricted then keep it in. A lot of this stuff you will feel different. If you do a movement and then you're not feeling much of a difference in the actual lift, then, you know, best to sort of feel your way through it in that sense. Also, you want to gear it to the muscle groups that you're training on the day. So before a um, sumo deadlift squat session, that's going to be quite, um, quite hard on the hips. So you do want to roll out your piriformis, glute medius, um, stretch the hip flexors, that kind of thing. And ironically, when I was filming this uh, log for warm-ups, I actually hurt my knee on that day. And uh, what I'm realising now is that, because I'm, I'm not normally very big on mobility, but I'm starting to realise the need for it, in that the knee pain was, rather than an acute injury on the day, um, I think it was a culmination of uh, problems that just kind of manifested on, on that point when I was squatting. So... Um, I stayed with a massage therapist called James Bailey from Real Health and Fitness recently. That was the set where I hurt my knee. Um, and he basically gave me quite a useful diagnosis of a lot of restrictions in the tibialis anterior, which is on the front of the shin, the driving muscle that you use to dorsiflex. When I prod around on it, it's pretty painful. So in line with what Kelly Starrett says, move upstream and downstream from where, uh, where you have pain in a joint find, work out all the stuff in the soft tissue, try and clear that up, and any niggles that you do have are a warning sign, really, that you do need to check something out. So, moral of the story, gear the specific warm-up to the movements that you're doing on the day, stay on top of your soft tissue work, make sure that you're um, aware of any niggles and restrictions, and if you're not sure, go to see a massage therapist, get a diagnosis, so you get pushed in the right direction, and you know what you're trying to work out. So don't imitate specifically what I'm doing. You need to have a feel around and work out what it is that, that is restrictive for you. And do check out Kelly Starrett and Bryce Lewis as some pretty good resources to experiment with and uh, to get some initial ideas. So I hope that was helpful and see you guys next time. <laughs> Yeah.
Nous autres, 